Hi everybody, this is the second episode of the 2017 Adobe Premiere Pro uh, tutorials. And uh, there is one thing, if you've missed the first section on preferences and project settings, uh, you can go back and watch that in episode one, but there is one thing I kind of failed to mention. It's kind of an important little thing here. Uh, it's under the general tab of preferences. If you go under that, uh, there's one little thing that I forgot that I'm going to make up for right here. Uh, is this timeline playback auto scrolling here. Uh, you got page, with this you've got three options. You've got no scroll, you've got page scroll, and smooth scroll. What this refers to is, uh, if you're zoomed up on a project here. I'm going to hit plus, 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 and it zooms up on my timeline. I'm just hitting the plus key up on the top of the keyboard there. What happens with the scroll option is when your playhead gets to the end of a timeline, it decides how to update the display of your timeline uh, when this playhead gets to the end and keeps playing. Now we're going to go under our preferences here, go under general, and we're going to select uh, no scroll and no scroll right here. Watch what happens really quick when I play through it. When the playhead gets to the end of a timeline, and it leaves, it just stays there. And then when you press pause, it updates and gets the playhead to where it was before you play, before you press play. I'm going to go and change that to page scroll. Page scroll, what that does is when the playhead reaches the very end, it reset, uh, updates your timeline and gets the playhead and updates the visuals to where the beginning of the playhead is after it hits the, the ending of the timeline. So watch this as it gets to the end of the timeline here. It um, it updates, it pushes everything forward here and comes back. So you get to the end here, and once again it just goes back and it updates, it moves everything over to the side, and it just keeps pushing all my clips over there. So uh, so what that does is as the play, it lets the playhead go from beginning to end. When it hits the end, it updates it and goes down the page, and then plays the playhead from beginning to end again. It's not looping your footage, it's basically continuing playing your footage, it just updates the visual of what you're looking at there. And kind of my personal favorite, if you go into general, I usually go in and change this. So I think it's uh, by default on page scroll. I like smooth scroll. And what smooth scroll does is while you're playing, it moves the timeline along and keeps your playhead locked in the middle. So you can see all these clips, all the new clips kind of coming into the shot here as your um, as your playhead just kind of stays right there in the middle. I mean, you can grab this when you pause and move it back and forth, but when you start playing, it moves your playhead to the middle and it has all your clips progressively moving past the playhead.